Well, right. This is the conspiracy theory in the Bible. And I know there are many conspiracy theories, but in the Bible, there's only one theory. And first, we'll define the word conspiracy or to conspire. So this is a combination of with and breath. So with breath. So this is a secret plot or ploy to make plans together, often with the intention to bring bad or illegal results, to agree, concur. So there's con in in all of this, to concur to one end, to work together, to bring about. So this is these are all um, related terms of conspiracy. So let's go to the Bible, right? So Psalm 83, I'll read from someone, keep... Don't keep silent, O God. Don't hold your peace. Be not still, O God. Okay, now we're getting deeper. For thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate you have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Now, the word people is already translated, transliterated, and interpreted as Bantu. This is the same as to say um, uh, Hebrew. So um, this is all uh, in the book, the free book in the link. Just send me an email just saying hi or just send me a WhatsApp just saying hi and automatically it's going to be sent to you. But they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said... They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no longer be in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They ha- they are confederate against thee. So in verse 5, the number of con, con, con is three. And this is the basis of the word conspiracy. And by definition... They have come and said, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. So this is the definition of what a conspiracy is. Now, this is very important. Now, this is going to be the definition of what a nation means in the Bible. And it said, and God said to him, I am God almighty, be fruitful and multiply a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee and kings shall shall come out of thy loins. So a nation refers to a people. So the conspiracy is to say that these people are no longer people. Okay. Now this is going to tie in with the last confederacy. So there's so many different types of confederacies. So let's go to... the Berlin Conference. So the Berlin Conference of 1884 to 85 is the Congo Conference. So this is where the uh, nations started to emphasize the need for the scramble for Africa. Okay. So the conference ushered a period of heightened colonial activity by European powers, which is where we get the scramble of Africa. So basically, they are in confederacy, in conspiracy, and as you can see, the African map is what is... This is an original picture, and this is what they were doing, sitting around... Like, there's no time in history where African leaders have sat down and looked at a European match and, uh, m- uh, map and conspired against it. And look at this. This is kind of hilarious. No African is involved in this African discussion. Not a single one, you see, except for this guy over here, right? <laughs> he knows everything going on there. So... <clears throat> So the Berlin Conference is also the birth of the idea of diplomacy and how they were going to start to implement diplomatic means in order to 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 maintain peace among them. So the, the thing with the Berlin Conference is that these people, this is Bismarck, so these people were, um, were, were so uh, brutal that they're like, all right, we're going to kill ourselves for these continents and territories. So it's better that we just go on and kill them. So this is uh, the Congo. 
that was given to one person, uh, King Leopold II, very brutal individual. And these are the borders that were made by Europeans that we still have to this day. So basically, um, effectively, the economies are created to siphon money, like all the roads are leading to Europe. So let's see. Um, so this is just basically the the conference. So you can just read this on your own, right? But the Berlin conference, as you're going to learn, is that this is where it all started. And this is a conference, conspiracy, conspire, confederacy. And the idea was to say that um, Africa, this place, will no longer be a nation. All right. There was no other agenda here other than them maintaining peace and not killing themselves. But the actual goal was to get resources out of this continent into their respective places. Now, in this day and age, we have what we call the World Economic Forum. So this is an not NGO, which is a lobbying organization, <clears throat> which is run by Klaus Schwab. So this is uh, a thousand plus people. And they have another agenda, which is to improve the state of the world by engaging in business, political, academic, and other leaders of society to shape global, regional, and industrial agendas. So this economic forum happens in Switzerland. Now, when you uh, go to Switzerland or when you research it, you're going to find out that they're 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 the mecca of money, you know, and uh, their basil is actually Babel. So they're rebuilding this tower. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a whole other deeper lesson that we'll go into when we get the chance. But um, through this forum, they're able to conspire. And this is also being, uh, a target of conspiracy theories. But as I said, the Bible only has one conspiracy theory, it's not multiple. So there's only one theory, which is to cut off the people from being a nation. Now, so this is the man who who runs this forum. He's a very powerful man, and a lot of people don't even know him, you know. But, you know, he is the uh, prime example of power in this day and age. And all of these are from the forums <clears throat> because they're so crafty, okay? So it's not an easy thing to understand because even their verbiage in their language seems as if it's for the greater good, all right? But <laughs> the the whole intention of the economic forum right now is to say that they will cut us off from being a nation by creating one nation, to say that you're no longer African, you're not Jewish, you're not Bantu, you're not French. We're all just humans. So they're using this humanitarian objective in order to objectify humans. So it's a, it's a, it's a very, very crafty thing. And like everyone is part of this conspiracy. Well, not everyone, as you can see here. You know, some people believe that it should be wiped out. So this is just the Wikipedia, all right? So it's 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 a real thing and this is Babel. This is Babylon. This is Basil. This is where all the money is made, all right? This is where it all comes from. This is where it all stems from. So um I've just gone over the surface of this issue. Um in another video I'm going to go over another part of this conspiracy. And how this, uh, let's go back to Psalm 83, 3 or 4. So, yes, I'm going to go over how they are, these, this um, uh, console is literally a cult. So I'm going to go over that and how it's all in the Bible, actually in this verse. So you can read it and, and if you can understand it on your own, then, you know, more power to you. But I will just come and uh, do my best to shed light on it. But this is the conspiracy theory in the Bible. 
and as you can see it's right here they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones they have said come let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of israel israel is africa may no more be in remembrance we don't remember that <laughs> it's a fact for they have consulted together with one consent their confederate against thee so this is also speaking about the slave trade the confederacy of the americans it's a confederacy but this is talking about israel the real light of israel and you know i i know if i even say this out loud people because of this conspiracy because of their cult they don't they will they will even start like if you say if you know that israel is african you say it to the general population they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna start shouting at you you know they're gonna they're not gonna understand because it's a crafty council crafts witchcraft this is where we start with the uh, uh, understanding that it's a craft and their craft is a cult a cult or a cult so yeah we'll go over that but for now We'll start with this step that this is the conspiracy theory that you find in the Bible.